Hi guys, welcome back to Lil's Takes, the podcast. I've said it again, I've said the podcast. <laughs> We're going to roll with it. Um, you know, I'm just never going to accept that I have a podcast and I have to keep calling it the podcast, but it's fine. Well, I've got some new guests, so they don't know about what's going on. Right, we are back today. This is an odd pairing. This is like such an odd group. I feel mm. like people watching this are going to be like, that is the most random group of people <laughs> I can see on my screen. So if we pan to my right, I've got Megan. She is back. And then I've also got Cody on the end over there. It's weird. You're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to get past it because it's happening. <laughs> it's happening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a new. Um, there's a new duo going on, guys, and this is it. Um, so we are gonna cover. I actually don't even know so many random bases because this pairing. I, I don't know. <laughs> this could go anywhere. Honestly. Mm. I've not. I usually plan my um, podcast so intensely as well. Like I have. I don't know if you can, I've got a word doc here that I'm just reading off because I plan it. This one, haven't planned that intensely. Given a couple of little pointers, um, what, I, what I might say, the rest is actually on you. You're going to have to carry me through this because oh I, right. I don't have the time. Um, I've got some good confessions as well for us and things like that um, that Shannon's going to chime in with. We've got cha- Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I said Shannon. Ch- I ch- uh, Sorry. <laughs> what? I, I can't say Shannon. I was trying to say Shannon and chime at the same time and it came out Shannon. But we've got Shannon on the producer mic over there. So if you hear Shannon chiming in, she's going to give us some confessions and dilemmas and stuff like that. More confessions than dilemmas because evidently I'm not very good at actually sorting people's life out. I don't have any qualifications. <laughs> I'm not a therapist. So sorry if you sent me a dilemma that was like, please, how do I get my wife back? I don't know and I can't help you. <laughs> but I'll give it my best shot. So I've got some good confessions coming your way. I'll stop waffling now and I'll ask you some questions. So, first of all, I was shocked when I found this out. You guys already know each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've met before. In yeah. a club. I was like, yeah. oh, wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work so much better. Once though, literally. Once, yeah. So, ran- did you even remember? Yeah, well, yeah, well, when I first, I did. He didn't, he didn't. Did. <laughs> no, it was, no it, was, it was a blur. Obviously, everyone on a night out, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. what you see someone, you're like, oh, you're right, how are you? And then, yeah. Yeah. I don't even remember getting home, let alone <laughs> seeing you. But. I thought you were staying at Mads or? No, I was staying, I don't know where I was staying. I was in Liverpool. But. Staying on the floor, staying on the streets that night. <laughs> Going home with anyone that's <laughs> home. But well, yeah, no, met in a friends. met in a club, and because we Barbara. Through, yeah, Barba, the one and only, yeah, and um, yeah, just met. God, it sounds like we dated or met in a club. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> met in a club. That's where we first met. That's each other. Uh, oh no, that's so cool that you already know each other. When yeah. you told me, I was like, oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> that is like makes the whole process so much easier. Like it's because it, we were talking about this earlier. It's quite hard, mm. not hard meeting people, but you don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah I just nothing not in common before, with. A yeah. lot of people. Yeah. And I've met, I met Megan at Talk First, um, but we, I think we spoke a little bit on that anyway. Mm. Um, message since then. Yeah, We're I'll internet friends, me and Megan. And then I met Cody at Leeds. Um, Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Is that the Jack Wills? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did you find it? What did you think? I really thoroughly enjoyed it, except it was obviously, it was a lot of a younger crowd. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it was a lot yeah. more like. 16, 17 year olds at first kind of festival vibes, which was like, it was, I remember my first festival, it was Reading. Mm. Um, but it was fun. We had it, we got all the group, all everyone that was there, we got really tight, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We got on like, really well, actually. That was like my biggest networking experience. I've never yeah, made it friends was, it like was, that. Yeah, it was weird because there were so many different genres of people that yeah. did different stuff. And it was like, we all just got along really yeah. well and like, mm. had a little click because it was nice. So. Yeah. That's what I thought was quite, it was quite weird that like we'd all come from such different areas of social media. Like we did like makeup people, comedy people, Instagram people, like, and we all came together and we all got on. It was so like, it was nice, I've never it? got on with a group of people like that. It was nice. Um, I want to talk about Hollyoaks because we didn't speak about it. Mm. What is it like going to Hollyoaks set? Is it dead? Are they, oh, are they nice? Yeah, oh my God. Honestly, I'm so close with like the, like the social media production team, that mm. side of things um but the cast as well so lovely really love Rich- richard blackwood yeah um who was on EastEnders as well mm. it's just they genuinely are so welcoming they're not what we spoke about earlier where it's kind of like oh tiktokers yeah like, you know when you kind of go into another scene and yeah because yeah, yeah. you're a tiktoker like, get out my face no exactly and it's kind of like we're on a higher level everyone was so in fact you know people were like oh can we get a photo because my daughter loves you it was oh, it was that so sort nice. of like it, everyone's so lovely but um no just trying to Put my foot in the door yeah. for that. Oh, got um, Where yeah. is it based? Respect the ground. L- Liverpool. Is it? Is yeah. it? It's literally based like um, Mosley Hillway. 
and yeah. all that. It's, it's literally like no, ten, 10 no. minutes away from her. Didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was a, sort of a down south situation. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally based in Liverpool. No way. It's my mum's favourite. I'm Is not going to lie. Yeah. Oh my God. That's no, the only no. soap like, I actually used to watch. Really? Eastend- yeah, I only used to watch Hollyoaks. EastEnders and Coronation. Didn't, didn't I, I've, I've never or watched Emmerdale. Hollyoaks. I don't like Emmerdale either. No, Emma- oh, no, I've never watched Emmerdale. I don't mess no. with that. I don't, I don't really get, get it. It's up north <laughs> as well, so I probably should. But I yeah. just don't. It's not for me. Sheep, yeah. fart, no. Yeah. <laughs> not that bad. Not that bad. Um, should we have a confession early on? Should we, should we go with one early? Definitely. I think it might be some really juicy ones, to be fair. Oh, brilliant. Ooh. First one might be a bit rogue, but we're going to go okay. with it. <laughs> no, I like that. Love it. I like toes, but I really wish I didn't. <laughs> Hell. Toes or toast? Toes. 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 Right, okay. The thing's Hell. on the end of your feet. I don't even think, I think that's just hilarious to put on the internet. I like toes, but I wish I didn't. Fair enough. And that's <laughs> you. Next one. <laughs> no, that's... Is that that's like a foot fetish, isn't it? Yeah. I don't understand stuff like that. I had to suck on a live TV. Did you? See, I'm so out. I didn't. Oh no! The, your series is the only series I didn't watch. I said yeah. this to oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like I feel so out of touch. So I'm like, yeah. I don't even know what happened on there. Well, I got challenged to. She is. She was the winner, so I mm. sucked the winners of Love Island's toes. But oh, yeah. who won again? And put that on your CV. <laughs> yeah, no, I might have to <laughs> get Do in it. the door. I actually don't know. But no toes. I don't know. I've. They've never really, obviously, it's nice when you got pretty, you don't want to see my toes. Then, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's nice when a girl's got like pretty toes, I guess. So but you look at those toes and get all... No, <laughs> it doesn't give me, it doesn't oh, give me, no, it doesn't get me excited. I just go, oh, okay. she looks after herself. No, I think, okay. I think nice toes is a nice... Yeah. And it's got to be white toes, like... I knew what, you were going to say white, that, that's like... Like just white, yeah, that's like, yeah. You know, oh like on God. holiday, yeah. having those nice toes is like... Such oh, a, yeah. I feel like it makes me feel so much better. Get my, the dogs if out. If my toes are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like, because people say, don't they, the first thing they look at is your shoes. Is so, it? Yeah, I saw that. No, that's first, so weird. I don't think that's me personally. I'm not that worried about what you wear on feet. That's me, Cody. But yeah, if people like look at your feet when they first meet you to get a gauge of what, what do you gauge like, though? What do you get know. from looking at the feet? What, but if you've got like dead minging Feet, feet, not feet, but you've like shoes. You've got dead skin on your feet. <laughs> um. I like promise I don't No, but if you've got like dead, dirty trainers, I don't know. If maybe that's well, a... Maybe. No, they're all right. Don't get them in the shop. Yeah, yeah put them away. <laughs> Awful. No, but I, I don't know if I'd admit, you know, if I really like feet. I'm yeah. not sure it's something I'd admit. Mm. I've heard some stories though of some guys that have message girls about feet oh yeah oh. I get there's a guy on Instagram right and he's called tights lover <laughs> like <laughs> tights lover and he messages me maybe once a month he's like hey just checking in do you want to send me a pair of ties no do you want to send me a picture of your socks no I still don't want to do that yeah, and he messages cool. me so often get that bank though yeah, yeah. I know it is it is such like a good way to make money yeah. I sound like I've done it but I've made, <laughs> definitely people make so socks. much money yeah they do just like Mailing their socks to people, yeah, like wearing their say. socks for a day and then sending them to someone. Loads of people do it through vintage, you know. It's vintage. like really popular. Oh, on I've seen a video of that. Really, really popular. Vintage. Where it's like someone wanted like some old crusty pants, oh, but they were doing no. it for like a fetish. Yeah, I was, I, I've been, like you know those shows <laughs> that like um, delve into like OnlyFans creators and and like yeah adult content creators loads of them do stuff like that though like they don't do so much like actual naked content but they send people like their socks yeah. and their I think that's weirder. underwear yeah I think that is weirder I've heard, yeah there's some <laughs> I basically apparently to do well on OnlyFans like you don't have to be like it's pretty in your lingerie kind of thing mm. it's genuinely the people that do the weird stuff that make the most money yeah like he knows you your... signed up to find out <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> I'm subscribed to like three no. different girls and all they do is no, put their toes no, in no, and make That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> yeah, but no, people do put their feet in like, send me a video of you putting your toe in a can of baked beans and I'll send you 500 pound. I'd be like, all right. No, you wouldn't. Oh, that's so gross. If, you know, if like, <laughs> oh, okay, I said this in a video the other day, if TikTok goes down the drain, like. History. Put in your f- <laughs> history, I will, 
I'll yes. get my degree. No, yes. but I understand why so many people do it because it, you make so much money. Oh yeah, hundred. Like, so, I get like really very clear money. instructions as well. So it's like yeah. wear these shoes, put them in a bin, take them out the bin, throw them around your garden, and then put them in a bag and send them to me. And that is so weird. Can you imagine? Can you imagine your neighbours coming outside and be like, "Why are you chucking that <laughs> pair of heels around your garden?" We're like, "Because this is my job." <laughs> oh no! All I do is wear. Ha- like, people wear high heels and then send them to people. And- yeah, and Vinted is like. I can't the place believe they to do, do that. I need to download mm. Vinted. <laughs> <laughs> Buying people's shoes. Oh. Will you send me them? No. Oh. We were talking about this before the cameras turned on. We were talking about OnlyFans, right? And how many people are doing it now? Oh, I, I can't, I'm struggling to think of like quite a lot of creators that don't do it at yeah. this point. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Megan was like, do you do it? And I was like, no. And then she went, Katie, do you do it? She went, no, we're like, okay. <laughs> we can talk about it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, it is, it's so massive. I think it's purely because, I don't think people set out to do it. I think you it can gen- earn so yeah, much money. That- uh, yeah, well, friends of mine that do do it, they genuinely started off just to make a little bit though. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. they got so addicted like one of them was telling me he was he was looking through his bank account and watching the numbers go up go up and he was like That's people mental. asking for more and more. He said he would never post anything like explicit. What is but, it yeah. per view or something? How do you make so it's through subscription, isn't it? But then that's oh. just to see your page. But then yeah. they privately message you yeah. to ask for more, whatever. Yeah. And that's when the that's where the dough is apparently. But I don't really know. But yeah. that's from what I've gauged from what my friends say. Olivia, oh. did you see Olivia Atwood's? She did a series on it. She so did, yeah. Rich. That She's was, done yeah. that on OnlyFans? No, no, she, was, she, <laughs> she did a TV series. I'm like, she went and saw like OnlyFans creators and met up with yeah. them. Yeah, oh, I think I've seen yeah. that, yeah. And it was like, the amount of money they earn is... Yeah, he was, he was saying... Brings a tear to my eye. Uh, <laughs> no, literally. I'll never see those figures. Um, no. Not, not doing this job. Oh, it's, it, I think it's just crazy that... I just could never put my tits online. Like, what? No, I couldn't. One's bigger than the other. Who wants to see that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, same. yeah right, it's, it's my it's my right one as well. No, it's my left one. We need to swap them. Yeah, you know, perfect pair. Yeah, <laughs> combine them together. <laughs> We'd have one more. Probably a bit left out. Yeah. <laughs> Get one one bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. one bigger than the other. Um, <laughs> not. That I, I like to think mine are quite symmetrical. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. I've never really ventured into... <laughs> I've never stood there in the mirror and yeah. addressed it that deeply. No. But no, maybe I will later. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've all come into, I think we spoke a little bit about this, but we've all come into like social media through different ways. Obviously you did Love Island, which is, we'll go yeah. on to that later. Yeah. I don't know. Short but sweet. You, yeah. <laughs> Short but sweet. How much airtime if you actually... <laughs> oh, mate. I reckon about 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> It weren't you, long, it weren't long at all. Is there a way to... Um, I genuinely, obviously I come in on Cass, so Cass is always hard. Yeah. Um, but it, I came in, I was just myself. And if I'm genuinely honest with you, and from what I gave, from what other people said, it was purely my age, like I was 20. Mm. Mm. And obviously you can go for, usually, stereotypically, girls don't go for younger guys. Yeah. Especially on live yeah. TV. Like yeah. I've been with older girls, like it's, it's never really been a problem for me. But when it was going on to, I can understand live TV. That yeah. A lot of the, the youngest girl was obviously Jess, who I went for, she was 22. Mm. And um, obviously she was seeing Sammy, he ended up winning it, so fair play to him. Yeah. But it was like, it was very hard for me to kind of gauge that. Before mm. the first day, even when I walked in, I was like, yeah, I'm probably going home. Like, really? Like you knew that quick? I could, yeah, like, because you just gauge straight away and it was like, no matter how, how hard I graft, the girls were just all like, I see you just a little brother. This mm. I come up with a new mm. word, brother zoned. I was like, that was what <laughs> oh, it was. Like I and I, I, I enjoyed it. All the girls like were lovely. Met all the lads, really nice, but I kind of knew straight away. I was like, yeah, this ain't really. And I'll be mm. honest, all the girls beautiful, but I knew like Yeah. Like three three of the girls that I fancied in there were like 27. Yeah. So like mm. yeah. 20, 27. I wouldn't go yeah. for a 20 year old if I was 27. Yeah. And that's I, like as a I tiger. Do feel like, got. like Love Island things like that, it's a look thing as well. Like if the girl's in there, you actually get on with her, they're going to get on with you. Yeah. So like it is dependent on what season you go in, what point you go in. There might not mm. be anyone in there for you at that point. And that's just the way that's it is. That's so true. Yeah, that's exactly. just how it is for some people. And like, it's, it I might just not took it, yeah. Well. It was more like even going on there, when I got the opportunity, I got the call and I was like, 
I looked around, I was like, I'm 20, what have I got to lose? You got to. Like, you take, I would have kicked myself if it oh, wasn't yeah. a show in a few years and I was there like, oh, oh I could have been that guy. Yeah. Oh, I got yeah. asked to go on the violin, but I didn't. Yeah, mm. so yeah. Like, oh, yeah. no, you've got to. Getting an opportunity like that. And people, not hate, but like, people say negative things because they're jealous that they, can, like, they can't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's people, true. Yeah, definitely because I was on there for a short amount of time, no excuses, but like, you do get, oh, why is this guy trying to milk his... Yeah. But like, like I'll be honest, I've done social media bef- even before. Yeah, because all- you're friends with, like, Cal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Exactly. So, like, yeah. I'm friends with all, like, the guys that connect. And it was, like, I've made friends through that social... Mm, anyway, yeah. just meeting through, like... I met Cal in the middle of Bangkok in a different city, like, mm. randomly. So, it was, like, meeting people through that. And then, obviously, when I went on, it was, like, a boost. And yeah. I've just grafted at it since. And it's mm-hmm. paid off. And people don't like to see that someone that was on a show for 30 seconds is actually done all right, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. People so, don't like to see other people succeed and that's really sad, yeah. but that is literally how it is. We were talking about hate before. Because I got loads of hate now. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I feel like I'm quite lucky in the fact that I didn't get much. But recently I have got quite a bit from like one video and it's it's so sad that like people feel the need to just hate on someone else's success because that's what it is. People just don't like to see other people doing well. And I think it's so important in this industry to like support other people that are doing the same thing yeah. because like like I don't know reposting you know if someone's doing an event or if someone's come out with something new I don't know and then reposting that is such like a boost just to say yeah. like oh I'm I understand that it's hard what you're doing and and I'd like to like not help you but show my support for you yeah it's such people don't understand that you're just normal <laughs> we're just normal people. normal people I'm literally <laughs> just a girl but like I think I was talking to Jasmine on the train on the way up and it was like, people don't understand that behind the comment that you're writing is literally someone that's made that video that can, I, I, am, I do read them. Like you do yeah, sit there you and do, you yeah. read Gen- what people say. And it's like, they are, I, I've got my own way of getting over it. I just literally, I've been cold hearted for it all anyway. I don't mm. really care. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. the best thing, like the worst thing is when you read one, then read the next one. No, yeah, next yeah. One, the next That's, one. I get sucked. And it's, it can. It, I can see why some people genuinely do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Definitely. so like dragged into it, and they care. Yeah. Then they start thinking about their parents, what they're talking about. Yeah. Mm. And I genuinely think if you're that person, like, just it's hard, easy said and done, but. Don't give a fuck. Yeah. I know, and li- I totally agree. Yeah. I feel like that's what. Like I literally, I couldn't get. I've been brought up in a family where like big family, older brothers, older sisters. So I got bullied anyway. So it was like, mm. you walk out, you think yeah. you look nice and my mate brother will go, you look like shit. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nice yeah, one, yeah, fact yeah. the way it changed. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I genuinely, it's easy to send And sometimes it does get to you and it's good to mm. talk, but mm. the best thing to do is not give a fuck. Yeah. The best way to yeah. approach it is like cold heartedness yeah. is literally to just be like, oh, it's whatever. I it's, feel like you just become numb to it. Yeah. Like, yeah at some point yeah, as well. Do, like, yeah. like seeing like, oh, you fat, ugly. Mm, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's just like sick. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and and it, I, I feel like the more you see it, the more it almost becomes less personal and it's just yeah. like words. That sounds so like wet and cringe, <laughs> yeah. but do you know what I mean? It just, it does just become yeah. like a comment and then it's just, mm. you just, you end up not caring. The I don't know, I've, I've never given. Yeah, the way I like to think of it now is if it's a comment on my TikTok, Every comment goes towards my creative fund. Exactly. Boom. So thank, it? You. thank you. Yeah, well, it used to, it doesn't anymore. It only does um, if my, my video's over a minute longer than it might. <laughs> but mm. yeah, um, I always used oh, to. Oh, are you that. on the creative, but yeah, 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 it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Mine's yeah. doing all right. Yeah. It's, all right. <laughs> <But> <laughs> it's, it's so different, isn't it? It is. So different. But. but what were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, it, but obviously it has to be over a minute long. Yeah. And I found. Is it exactly them. a minute? Yeah. yeah, exactly. A minute, it's got to be over. Yeah. I've had some that are like fifty nine seconds. No, do so well. I'm like, oh, God yeah, damn. Hate yeah, hate it. But um, if you, I don't know if you, you guys have noticed this. When it first came out, I had a huge like viewer dip because loads of oh, my God, yeah. videos were over like a minute. Yeah. Um, and now if my video is over a minute, it doesn't do as well as my ones that are under. Yep. yep. Obviously, because TikTok, it doesn't. I love you TikTok, but you don't want anyone to earn any money. Because mm. my more. RPM's like rubbish as well. It's like twenty nine p. I've seen so many creators going like ninety p, one pound. Mine's twenty nine p. Yeah, no, mine's something similar. I only checked. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, honestly, it's safe, safe, safe bet eleven p. I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is well, it's a lot better than what it yeah we're very grateful thank you but thank you so much. Thank you. You. yeah <laughs> this is, you pay my bills uh, <laughs> but yeah no it is it is it's better but it's different mm, now yeah i felt it when it first came in i was like 
Mm. But I, I think loads of people did. Like I saw loads of videos of loads of creators that were like, what's happening to views? Like what's going it's when, on? That, it's yeah. when that, um, was it the creator fund when you signed up to that? I yeah. never signed up to it ever. Mm. Cause I was like, I don't want my views to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Recently I did, I'm like, shit, my views are down. Yeah. Mm. I didn't do it until I hit, until I got hundred K I think. Cause you can join it after 10 K, can't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. I didn't do it until hundred cause I was scared that it would like stump my growth so early. I was planning on growing from Ted Gay. I was like, this is me. <laughs> this is my job. No. But I thought there's no point in doing it if it's gonna, which it did. Yeah. When, at what point did you say, yeah, actually I could be a content creator? I don't know. I think I was, um, I started doing it at a similar time to you. I did it in lockdown. Yeah. So I was like, then I started doing it properly. Like my first year of uni, I did like TikTok shop and things like that. And that was my oh, first God, big yeah. like thing that I signed. Yeah. I didn't get management until I was at uni. So I'd already been doing it about a year. Mm. Um, but I think, it, yeah, it was probably my first year of uni. Mm. I was like, you know what? This is earning me money. Cause I was, I was planning on going to uni and getting a job there. Yeah. Being like working part time. Cause it's expensive to yeah. live on your own. It's, you know, it's yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll get a job when I'm there. But then I started that and I was like, maybe I don't need to. Mm. I'll just do this instead. Yeah. But it became a little like earner. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's nice to have like, um, it's such a different way of earning money. Yeah. A lot of people like to look down on it and be like, oh, that's so. I was having a chat with a guy in a smoking area the other day. Not a smoker. It was just hot. Right. <laughs> so I was, I was out there and he was like, I think... Um, he was like, it shouldn't be like that. People that do your job shouldn't earn the money that you earn. Thinking that's like, it's like not even that much money, but like it shouldn't earn that type of money. Like work is going to work. You don't go to work. I don't even start. My dad's like that. He's like, <laughs> mate. He's really? like, yeah, because I, I, I lived up in Leeds and moved back because everything's based in London. So obviously Leeds and London ages away. Yeah. Mm. So I moved back to Birmingham and moved back in my, my old man. And I kid you not, yeah, if I'm not up by like nine o'clock, He's like, what are you doing? Waste, mm. like, you're, you're a waste. Wasting space. the day. Like, what are you doing? And it's oh like, because he's so old school. He's like, yeah. yeah, go out, get your money, come out. And I'm like, yeah, but I can make my money through doing three videos a day. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, that's how I do. And it's, to be fair, I found it hard trying to find gap fills because I am used to a routine. So, yeah. yeah. Like trying to, you can only go to the gym so many times. Mm. You can only go for a coffee so many times. So it's like, yeah. it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It I, is silly money though, isn't it? Some people When you think about it, it yeah. is ridiculous. Some of the deals that get like presented to you and you're like, how do you even have the budget for that? For like <sighs> people that, yeah. I can't even imagine what people in the like the, you know, like the three to six million bracket on TikTok. Oh, what don't. are they earning? <laughs> yes. It, is it money, makes you want to cry. It like, is it's ridiculous. I, I can't, even, I still can't comprehend. No. When, I can only comprehend it when you, no, it can't, I can't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, trying, can't. I'm actually trying to think about it now. And yeah. when you think about that, sometimes like two, three brand deals and it's like, and that's my, that's one of my parents' wages for the year. Yeah. You're like, what? Oh no, I haven't. I, that's never occurred to oh, me no, that's just like, I was just saying like, yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah. I think I've heard, so, yeah, so yeah, I've, no, and I've been like, like, they've told me and I've been like, what, yeah. how much? Yeah. Mate, that's making me sweat. Yeah. 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 Like, shit, I need to get my life together. Yeah, no, yeah. literally. What do you even do with, I wouldn't know what to do with that amount of money. But um, like GK Rose, I don't know if it was on a podcast or on a video the other day, she was like, they turned down a deal that was like 500K. Yeah. I know, because it didn't fit with their brand. I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, it didn't fit with the brand, so they turned down a deal that was £500,000. <laughs> that could buy my house Whoever three times. Yeah, that deal was. Like two times. I'm gutted. Yeah. That is a joke. Pass it along the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally. If you don't want to. <laughs> literally, that, that's, that's crazy to I me. Know. Oh my God. No, it is mental. No. But in my head, I'm like, that's such an other people thing that will never happen. That doesn't happen to me. Manifest it. Like, it will. It will though. No. I don't think yeah. No. <laughs> Not sure. you, it's just it's just certain brands it's do you know it's the random brands it that is. will pay ridiculous <laughs> yeah, it's is. it's not like the generic brands like jd or adidas yeah. it will be like this chinese shaving company instagram clothing brand that yeah like, i'll give you a mortgage <laughs> like cuckoo clothing brand yeah like 600k and it's like yeah yeah no, like dating apps as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Apps. Like Hinge. Yeah. Apps do loads. Yeah. Just like games and stuff like that. Yeah. I find they pay a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. they're like, how do I make that Are worth, you... like fit with me? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I've got it because it's a lot of money. So I will. Yeah. Nice. No, apps. That is a big one. If you ever get approached by an app. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Um, I've got a couple of questions. Oh, should we do a confession or? I've got a good one. Have you? Yeah. Oh, let's do that then. Okay. Brilliant. We'll do a confession. We'll go so, questions after. Me, 27, and my friend's older sister, 31, have been friends with benefits for a while and I'm catching feelings. What do I do? Say that again. Yeah, wait. So, the, what was the first bit again? So, me, 27, and my friend's older sister, 31, have been friends with benefits for a while and I'm catching feelings. What do Ooh. I do? To date them. No. But no? it's your, it's your friend's sibling. Oh, yep. Then you can be brother and sister. See, that would be my, I think, yeah. I see it different. No. Really? That is not allowed. Really? Is it not? If my mate was cracking on with my sister. <laughs> would my... you not go, brilliant, now we can be brothers-in-law? No, yeah. I'm really no. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, I don't, I'm a... Like, I, per... Is it the thought? Is it the thought? It's the fact that, like... One, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> and you know what your mate's like as well, I suppose. Yes, yeah. and it's like, you know how they, some lads talk about girls in all sorts of wonderful different ways <laughs> wonderful. when they're around the lads. I'm sure yeah. it's wonderful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah wonderful. Sure it's, all it's, it's, nice. it's the fact that, imagine you're at the pub, oh yeah, this, that, the other, it was that amazing, it was lovely, whatever. Yeah, and then and it's, and you find out it's your sister. But, oh yeah, no, no I get you. that. Okay. Yeah. That's like, that's the equivalent, yeah. I think, to like, them doing it to your mum. Like it's family. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's exactly. the same. That's really extreme <laughs> Ooh, That's still family. <laughs> yeah, that's... I get that it's a family, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I what, think it's we, different we for girls. We literally went like, oh yeah, cute I little think it's, sister. it's different for girls, like. Mm. Girls but get also... really close to the boyfriend. Is that right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Boyfriend's family. But um, Do you think know. a friend with benefit situation is ever a good idea? Oh yeah, that's another thing. They're not in a relationship. Yes. It's like a friend. <laughs> if it goes into yes. a relationship, then yes. No. That was so oh. quick. Friends of benefits. That's it. If you start friends of benefits, it's never going to be a relationship, I think. Really? Yeah, I think as a bloke, mm. you know there and then when you meet that girl, and this sounds crazy, but it's so true. And the lads will agree with me on this. <laughs> when you meet a girl, you know. If it's going to be like a relationship be, or not. You, she will be your missus. Like you, when you meet a girl... You know, mm. I'm telling you now within like straight up when I met my ex, when, when I was seeing this one girl, I knew there and then when I first met them, there's a lot of potential. There. I didn't think all oh, girlfriends straight away, but I thought, yeah, yeah I could so see. So what's the difference then? Oh. What, what's the one thing that clicks going on oh, misses and old oh, friends benefits? See, I've, I've had a fair bit of fun in my time and seeing some girls and the difference between like a girl that I've been like that I'm seeing once or twice and a girl that I went up being with mm -hmm. is that like, I don't know there's like you instantly don't want to speak to any other girls like I'll know straight away like if I'm just, if I've seen a girl here and there and then I'm like I've got the urge to go and message a girl or I'm out and I'm looking at a girl and I think oh you're all right mm -hmm. then you I know think, straight oh, away I'm like that, that, that's never gonna that's yeah me. that's yeah. never gonna be my missus yeah, right, I get okay. that because you wouldn't want that, would you, like, someone going out and still <sighs> fancying, like, other people if they're, like, speaking mm. to you, I get that. I think if you're on the same page with friends with benefits, I don't know. No, nah, I If you're on the same page, know. but I feel like it's so hard not to... It's fun, though. Catch you can make some good yeah. memories. Someone. Friends with benefits. You can, you can make really good memories. Like, <laughs> is yeah, it like, second in a bed. No, <laughs> 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 I've got this great memory. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, no. I, yeah. You, no, you do. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like it's it that's so dependent on the situation and the person. And the like, person. feelings do get involved as well, and yeah. that's mm. when friends with benefits equals toxicity. It's so yes, hard yeah. to separate the feelings from that from seeing someone. I think. Yeah. So hard. But then I feel no. like it's quite girls, funny because, like, I think for girls, it's hard. yeah, mm. when you see them later down the line and like they've got a girl, a boyfriend or whatever. Mm. And you're like, you just act like nothing ever happened. You're just like, oh, you're right. Like, no, no. Nice to see you happy. I, oh, I, God, no. <laughs> no. I'm glad, uh, happy for you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, that's oh, that's you're the playing. worst chat yeah. ever as no. well. You know, you, you see someone like your ex somewhere and you're like, happy for you. <laughs> you're like, I'm not really, <laughs> like, but. You look great. I've never yeah. had that situation. I've never seen my ex since we broke up. So like, I wouldn't, yeah. I've never had, like when people are like, oh, I want to see my ex, however, not seen since. Like, yeah. 
So See, I don't, but is that because you like don't message or meet up and whatever? Yeah, you're not, not like from the same area. No, not really. Oh, so, right. yeah. that makes exactly. Sense. So it's like I've never been able to like relate. So it's yeah. weird because it happened to my mate the other day. We went out in Birmingham, and his ex turned up with his girls, and it, I said to him, "Don't speak to her." Yeah. Oh don't. God. Took free drinks, and I was there, <laughs> sat with all their mates, going, yeah. "Oh, nice how's it going? You. Yeah, how's it going?" I'm there, like, "Oh, thanks, mate. Got a video there." Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sent it to the lads' group chat. He's getting terrored, and then, yeah. Oh, see, oh man, I, I've got a really tight friendship group from home. I'm friends with all of my exes and all of their new girlfriends, and then like, what? Yeah, I'm friends with all Liam's ex-girlfriends. Oh. No. Most of them. How do you do Just that? Just because we're. We come from such a small village and all of my ex-boyfriends are... (laughs) It's quite incest when we think about it. Everyone's... It's because it's so small. Everyone's dated everyone, so it's not like... Yeah, but do you not feel like the slightest bit of resentment and bitterness towards them? No. No! (laughs) Friends my ass. No, it's because... They're... It's so (laughs) intertwined. It's so interconnected that it's like... Some people, when I first like started to have to be friends with them again, oh my God, they're going to be sat at home like, are you talking about me? Yeah, literally. <laughs> so we're not friends. No, yeah. we're not friends. Some people, when I had to be friends with them because I've started seeing them more and like going out and they'd always be there and there's no yeah. way I can get around like going to see my friends and them not being there. So you have to be friends with them. There was a, a, a couple of them that I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to like speak to this person normally again I and it's taken like it took me like a year there's there's how many exes have you had actually can we just throw it into the mix only, only come ten. on be honest i'm only gonna count two okay okay but yeah good stuff you've had yeah. situations that in the same area as well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just when I need some guidance <laughs> what shall I say but no I've the thing is my boyfriend now his friendship group has always been the same and it's always been <laughs> oh, say it I know all of his friends met a lot of his friends and I've like spoken to a couple of his friends in the past in that way or without any clothes on <laughs> <laughs> no. just checking just checking, just checking. <laughs> no but like I've sp- I've and, and, and all my ex-boyfriends as well. They've Now, they've all got this big friendship group where they're all friends together. That is weird. So, yeah, Cody's okay, right, incest. That is I not good. I see them all the time. Oh, How did yeah. your boyfriend feel? Liam's all right with... It, it was like... Because, like, guys can be so... Fr- I'll be honest, like, when... Everyone hates it when their their partner talks about their like, pa- yeah. like ex relationship. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Everyone, yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone they don't they'll be like, oh yeah, whatever, yeah, talk about it all you want. Yeah. But secretly you're dying inside. You're yeah. like, yeah. oh, like yeah. stop. And it's like uh, for me, when I hear that, I'm like, I don't want to know about your yeah. past relationship. But you need to know to understand mm. them. Yeah. So it is a hard like it's, I don't know, it's yeah. one of them. No, I, I know what was, you mean. Yeah, hard for Liam is because you you already knew. Like he, yeah. he mm. me and Liam were friends before we got together because yeah. I was speaking to his friends so like I was sort of mates with him and he'd tell me about the girls he was getting with in the club I'd tell him oh, about no. the boys I, no, and guys, then, guys do that though as well. like, me I and, do that to wind the girl up I'm seeing because I just want to see if she cares and now oh, I think no. I look back and I'm like <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but, but we've got such like such a good relationship now that it doesn't it doesn't even cross my mind like we've been friends now me and all my exes have been friends longer than we were probably together so now like it's it doesn't even cross but my mind. But is there not a there. tiny bit of you being around your exes and remembering that slight bit of when you love them and when you, lo- you know, oh, no, whatever? I, no. Love. Really? No, there's... Nothing, <sighs> it's dead. No, it's not like... Um, oh, I God. I don't want to... Because I know I we're all mates and I'm like... I, 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 I appreciate their friendship now because they are, like, good friends to me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to talk about. Um for no, like, I don't. I, that never crosses my mind. I never really? sit there and think about we were in love once. No, Do that's you know not what? a thing. You're getting out of this one. We haven't. We haven't grilled yeah. you yet. I know. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever sit with your exes and think we were in love once? No, I've only really had two exes, the same kind yeah. of. But obviously, <sighs> Leon was one of my exes. Just yeah. dated, you know, dated him throughout school. Then yeah. someone called Ravi. Yeah. Nice there lad. <laughs> nice word. I haven't got a bad word to say about him, to yeah. be fair. Um, but that was really it. I was yeah. very much like a relationship type of girl in school. Yeah. I hated being in 
situationships or just yeah, like I, I, I could say I, I could never like get with people just for the sake of it there yeah. was always feelings attached yeah no, which was, was such a fault when it came to like things like parties or school discos mm. do you know what I mean as in like because I was never I I had to like really feel something for someone that sounds really deep but no, no it's I, was the same. Yeah, I, get I was just that type of person yeah so that's um, a good thing like mm. I gen- like you hear Dating now in this generation is hard. Oh, um, yeah. Everyone's got a past. Yeah. And if anything, like, big up Birmingham, but it is like going through everyone's trash to find. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, Birmingham, <laughs> Birmingham is like everyone, if you get a missus from Birmingham, yeah. I guarantee someone you know, maybe not your mate, or someone you know, you see how you see, like, oh, how is it going, bro? They've been with her or I don't know, on a date or something. Yeah, it's yeah. genuine. It's very, like, you, Birmingham's a big city, but very ancestral, I guess. Yeah. Really? Mm, I don't know. I've never had that. I've never like had a dating experience in a city because I met Liam when I was the, the day before I moved to Sheffield. So I was mm. like, still like a small town. I feel like I thought dating in a city would be like yeah, you don't know anyone. Yeah. But yeah. I suppose it's Birmingham's not that big of a city. No, actually, it's is not. It? Like when you go out, like everyone knows the same people. Like if you're yeah. always going out, you're going to see the same people. Yeah, if you're yeah, not, definitely. like it's one of them. But like. Yeah, like when you start being someone like you do, like for me anyway, I nip it in the bud early and I like like to talk about, so like, do you know this person, whatever. Yeah. It's like, if they don't, they don't. But if they do, get over it kind of thing. Yeah. But it just depends on that person. But it, I feel like it definitely depends on the person. If you meet someone, you're like, wow, this is like, this could really be the person for me. Then I suppose the past doesn't matter as much no. because they're not that person. Yeah, anymore. exactly. And you can't judge someone on the past. Like, no. You genuinely can't. No, you can't. But I then can. to, controversially, do numbers matter to you guys? Mm, oh. No. Oh. I don't... Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know. Basically, I, I, don't, I don't really... Get, I don't ask the question because I think one is... Yeah. It's private. But surely, like, for your own health and safety, you want oh, to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Before... Have you got brush? Uh, do you know what I mean? Are yeah. oh, you yeah. going to give I me get... anything? No, yeah. I get you. But, like, I don't know. I go off this quote. It's like, a, a woman... If a woman sleeps with over... This is probably bullshit, by the way. Yeah. I've seen this on some oh, Instagram. No. But and my, this is what my friends abide by. If a woman has slept with over five or six people in her life, there's, like, a certain percentage that the marriage will break like they'll is divorce that, is that yeah. like an actual thing is that I don't know <laughs> is that true I don't know it's women <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yes. and, then, and then there's that stereotype of oh a guy can have as many bodies as he wants but if the girl has over three she's a slag that's mm. bullshit yeah no I think yeah. that is that is a that's a thing that has always existed though. Men can have as like have had as many relationships in the past as they want. But for yeah. girls, it's completely different because boys view girls slightly different to... I feel like it doesn't matter as much to girls. I feel like girls are like, yeah, boys yeah, will be boys. Gen- yeah. <laughs> really? But, I genuinely think that like, and girls did, I and think... I respect it because it's like, it's one of them because I don't get me wrong, like I've had a whole phase and not proud of it, but mm. so I do sometimes think, I think, oh shit, I kind of wish I'd never done that because... Mm. One, it's respect for yourself. And two, yeah. it's like, but then again, you're young, have fun. Yeah. But then fun's yeah, you can't look yeah, critically. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can look critically like back on yourself or of anyone else. Because if you think like, if you think back to a time in your life when you were single and like, I used to go to, I was at the club every weekend when I was 18, freshly turned 18 before I met Liam. Every weekend I was like at the bar. Hello. Club um, but like, you can't, if you think you look back on yourself like that and think, oh my God, I wish I never did that that person's probably looking back at themselves like that as well. Yeah. So the, the, no one's going to kick yourself harder than yourself, do you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Like, you don't need that. You, that person's probably already doing it for them. So mm. you don't you don't need to do the same thing. Yeah. I don't think it's a big deal. And not in the, I feel like this day and age as well, dating and like seeing people is, I don't know, I feel like we're a lot more, um, everyone dates loads of people nowadays. Mm. Like, when yeah. they're single instead of I'm not saying this generation's got commitment issues but I do think it that does I think people think free. the grass is greener <clears throat> yeah that's what it is people think oh shit if I get with this girl I'm gonna miss out on all yeah. this yeah that's a all thing. this that's but so all true, that yeah. is literally mm. like oh I could I could find a better girl I'm gonna find a better girl mm. 
And it's like, mm, 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 you're probably not, mate. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> sex, you're like, like, Jack, you're not. <laughs> you, 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 you like this girl, grow a pair of balls and commit to it. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I'm I'm kind of slating myself there, but I've done it before and I know when I like a girl and I know what I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's... I feel like that you know when you know thing comes in as well. Like, yeah. if you know you've met someone that you you really like, yeah. I feel like that thought doesn't... That thought never even entered my head. And like, as soon as I met Liam, I was like... It's weird. I was like, I don't think I can find anyone better. Like, this is... That's so sweet. And that's love. That's, and that's love. Oh. That's love. <laughs> all these, pod, these new podcasts that Liam's... They're going to come out and Liam's going to be like, oh, God. And all, yeah, of them, yeah. like, like, and all of them, I'm just like, Liam, you are the best. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Love you, Liam. <laughs> Fan page. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's getting a bit gross, actually. I'm, I'm still dead hard to get. <laughs> You've got to still fancy me. Um... Right, one thing I wanted to ask you guys. So you do different things. So like social media, acting reality, loads of different things. Do you think you could ever swap and do what the other person does? Like Cody, do you think you could go into acting? And like Megan, would you ever go on like reality TV? I couldn't get my tits out on TV, no. <laughs> I could not, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I just couldn't shake that ass. I, <laughs> when I look at things, are we talking specifically like Love Island? Yeah, that's good, yeah. I genuinely just couldn't Mm. because I, one, I'm really like insecure about my body and I can't like CBA to go into, do you know what I mean? All all girls are really insecure, but like uh, the type of like bodies they cast, I don't think I'd fit that category. I don't know whether that's true or not because obviously you've been through the process of how they cast it. But um, I, I just don't think that I'm that sort of uh, shape and type (laughs) of appearance that they want. Again, I don't know if that is yeah. the situation, but I don't know. I just, I could never, you know, things like the dances and like the challenges. Yeah. I could never do that on, I, I couldn't do just, on TV. Even being in that situation would just make me nervous around yeah. other girls that have so been perfectly picked yeah. to be on that show. I'd be like, oh. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. But I could see you doing acting. Do you do? I swear no, I've you. wanted, I've wanted to. Yeah. Really? Like, I do it, man. No, I've like, it's, I don't know where to start. I don't yeah. know where to get. I've always said, like, I've said to my, like, a few of my mates, I'd love to just, it's easy said and done though, isn't it? But I yeah. think once you get your foot in the door, kind of think, I would love to. And like, mm-hmm. I'd, it's something I would strive to do. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you never, you never know. Like, it's, it's one of them industries. It's kind of who you know, not what you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Get yourself yeah, in the door. But about like the Love Island thing, like, the, like, the way they cast it is genuinely what I realized was, it was personality. I'm not mm-hmm. saying I've got an unbelievable personality, but <laughs> like like the, 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 the casting process is like, you see all the big personalities on there. Yeah. It's genuinely, they go for the personalities and they, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, I'm not part of the casting team, don't have a really clue, but this is what I gathered mm-hmm. is that each year they have similar people yeah. and they try yeah. to fill them voids. Yeah. Um, it's who are you this year then? A nobody. No, I said Because they always like, I know what you mean, they compare themselves. I think, saying, I think I was just, I don't know, like just a young, like a young lad yeah. that was just like. Because mm. I know that they do always try and find similar looking people or similar yeah. personality people. And they do every year on TikTok, it's almost like they compare like, this person's this person this yeah. year. Yeah. That person's that person. They, would ha- they always have like that fiery girl that's always like really outspoken. Yeah. And then they have like the funny guys and they do like, yeah. It you is, get like, what you mean, that's actually. what they like, have. I'm picking. I never noticed that. You two would 100% like, I would never doubt you. And look, that's obviously each their own, but I, I would put you guys on there. It's, so thank you. No, so it's, 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 it's <laughs> genuinely. Do you remember, do you remember TikTok? <laughs> one thing, one personality thing. gets you far in that place. And yeah. if, obviously, yeah. shout out to Uzi, Greek, Greek God, it's easier for some people like Uzi because mm-hmm. he is unbelievably good looking. But <laughs> really? he was the first lad, he's the first lad I saw I don't know this man is. when I got out the minibus mm. and I, I went to my chaperone and I went, well, I'm fucked. Because he was, he like, he's six foot five, light skin, blue eyes. I was there like, yeah. That's that. Get I, back in I, the no, I open the door. That, see, that's so weird that you think that he's like really attractive because I don't find him attractive at all. I have not seen. I have no idea who this one is. Um, (laughs) But like compared to other people who were in Castle or the Villa, I don't think he Mm. was. Oh, you got to think. Did you watch this year? Kind of. When they said that you, you, Maddie messaged me saying that you were in it, and I was like, Yeah. (laughs) And I was like, What? Um, Yeah, I watched the bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who would have you gone for if you was on there? (laughs) I'm trying to think who was. Put you on the spot. 
Sammy seemed like a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know because we weren't in the villa. Mm. Sammy seemed like um, a vibe. I, I always just go for funny people and people of personality. I get that. Yeah, That's the problem. Like, I just, I could, I never go on looks. Yeah. Well, obviously looks go as a part of being with yeah. someone and getting yeah. with someone. But like- Law of attraction. No, yeah. But if at the end of the day, they're not funny, <laughs> I oh, don't want to yeah. know you. Do you know what I mean? Someone's got to be funny. I can't just, what do you talk about? No, literally, I need to make like noises and like, do you know what I mean? Just Just be weird, yeah. Yeah, and the random spurts of energy and I need to get that back. Yeah. So, yeah, I I don't, I don't know who was like that in Love Island. Because that's the stuff you don't see as people just going, do you know what I mean? You don't see that. Yeah, they cut out so much stuff. You've got to think like 24 hours a day and they got cut down to an hour, surely. Yeah. You're missing out so much stuff. Yeah. I assume that. But no, I might have, to give back, might have to give acting a go. I'll do it. Hit, just do it. Little see, lessons. See, see you in Hollywood. You shoot, <laughs> shoot your manager on the name. They're doing little cameos at the moment. Oh, are they? Yeah. They haven't had a Love Island one yet. Well, well there you go, <laughs> So you out of business opportunities. No. Yeah. Well, we're helping you out here. Um, there's such a massive thing at the minute as well. I feel like, I feel, this is, you know, like when people have a newborn baby, they put it in a romper, like a full on. I sometimes I feel like, like is that a like romper? a romper? That's the word yeah, for yeah. it, isn't it? A romper. Never heard of it, but I'll gauge what, what you're is about. a romper? A romper. It's like an all in one. Yeah. 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 With the one zip. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For a baby, it's but like you can have rompers as an adult. Like, oh. Not not like that look like like <laughs> you know something sh- shorts and a top all in one. That's called a romper. Oh, no, okay. I thought that was a play suit. That's what a lot of I girls. I think it's also a play suit. Oh, okay. Oh no. Girls I've wear that to festivals a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, I've never heard of it, yeah. the term romper. I, I feel like they look a bit like baby greys. Okay. That's just my thoughts on it. I do wear them, but yeah. I still think they look, <laughs> still think they look like that. I came into the oh, I came into the flat the other day, um, into the kitchen, and I had this like, um, like this set on, and I had um, a big cardigan. It's all fluffy, and I wrapped it around my head, and it was dead tight, it, like stuck all the way around my face like this. And Jasmine was like, "You look like a newborn baby," and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> thank you." She took a picture of me and put it on a story, and was like. Uh, she's it's a girl <laughs> 12 pounds and I fully look like a newborn baby because it was like <laughs> so tight on my head but yeah I do feel they, they give me newborn baby vibes wearing a full on romper mm. but that's just me still wear them girls if you like them <laughs> um, right oh this was sort of leading off the last question when we completely went on a tangent I was going to say that I couldn't do what both of, what either of you have done I don't think I could go on Love Island or do acting I think I'd be too nervous Really? Did, yeah. Did Hollyoaks make you nervous? Like, did you stress for, for it? Yeah, I did. I, you know, I literally only had like one line and a bit and I was like, what if I forget it? Do you know what I mean? Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I was fully like, if I forget this one line, that's it. My career's career over. over. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. No, but like you, that that's the worst thing you think, oh, again, that's the worst thing you think of is yeah. you, you immediately go to kind of the worst thing and then that just kind of clouds your mind the whole time. Yeah. But, that's acting, full stop, isn't it? You, you have yeah. to learn lines. You have to go on set or theatre. And because I used to just do so much theatre, I honestly, screen acting is just way better. W- way better. Because yeah, you can constantly live, go over lines. You can constantly kind of repeat things. Yeah, you yeah. can't mess up live, can you? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Whereas in, yeah, like you just said, in, in actual real life, in theatre, yeah. that's it. That's your one chance. You forget yeah. your line, you stood there on stage. Mm. And... I don't know, that's the really scary part, but I think you could do it easy, definitely. I hundred percent I would have thought that was your like goal as well as like doing mm. the history stuff. I thought you would have uh, wanted to do acting. I did a GCSE, I did my GCSE in drama. Ooh. I used to go to drama club. I did do drama, but only because yeah. it was quite it was easy and I didn't have to write anything. All right. And all my friends <laughs> no, no, and my <laughs> friends did it. So I was like, it's just dead fun. Because yeah. you get to take shoes off and run around. There's only like six, eight, six people in my whole drama class in yeah. um uh, like GCSE when I did it. Yeah. Well, I got a bit of, we used to do shows and stuff. I mm. got a bit of PTSD from that. We we did one show. Jasmine, I don't know if you remember this. Um, we did a show once when we were only like year seven and it was horrendous. Like it was a year seven drama performance, obviously. It was mm. shocking. Yeah. And uh, this girl had to say like, it was pretending we're at like a funeral. So we're acting we're at a funeral. And this girl who was dead supposedly she wasn't there wasn't an actual girl there it was just like a grave Mm. and uh, she was like we're here (laughs) we're gathered here to celebrate the life of Anne and we hadn't thought of a last name 
for this girl. We just be, always called her Anne, like this dead girl. We hadn't scripted it that she had a last name mm. and she panicked and she went, Anne Boleyn. Oh, <laughs> as in like Jesus. Anne Boleyn from, as in Henry VIII's wife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the no. whole audience started laughing and we're all still there like, oh my God, oh, Anne, Boleyn. Yeah. Anne Boleyn. Anne uh, Boleyn, out of all I, the yeah, Smith. Nice. But to be fair, is, is that like what it's like on reality TV where it's almost like y you... Do you repeat lines? You know how there's so many almost myths about they give you lines, they tell you what to say, they tell you where to go. Yeah. Is that true? They give you like prompts and stuff. Yeah. Like, they, I'd say, like, if they if they want, like, say, for example, like, the recoupling or, because you've got this Vogue thing, like, say you were like a recoupling, like, they do, like, obviously and you mess up like you don't know what you're talking about or whatever mm. they'll redo it yeah. just to like make sure oh, okay. in my head in the Love Island Villa they've got big speakers and they go yep yeah, Cody can you go over there and talk to her for a minute please <laughs> that's what happens in my yeah, head yeah to be fair actually because how do, do you have earpieces in like, no 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 <laughs> it is they do they in do head, they do let, they do let it, like it's very it is still very free flowing it's not yeah. they don't interact at all but it's like obviously when you they're producers. They need to yeah. produce. Yeah. And like when they put, like that when there is like a recoupling or a challenge, obviously they speak to you. Yeah. So you need to like. Yeah. Do people come in to speak to you? No. Oh, that's crazy. Is there stuff you can't say because of your contract? I've signed an NDA. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Nah, genuinely, they don't. They don't. Like, obviously, if you need the medical team. Yeah. You need to go see the med medical team. Like, yeah. That's it, really. They Oh. Yeah, in my head, there's massive speakers. It's like Big yeah, Brother. Yeah, like Big Brother. Yeah. yeah. Like, can you go and talk about it? What the... do you think of Big Brother this year? I haven't watched it. I, I've I'm never so watched it before. Awful. Why haven't you, Why are you watching it now? It's honestly, it's is like it? iconic, but I've never watched it before. It's crazy some yeah. of the people that are in. Like, it's so, I love it. Just it. All I've heard about English, is good stuff. Just heritage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is just cause English. It's because it's English. The thing English. I love about it is that they just have different ages yeah but also like just completely different people yeah they like, throw the randomest people in there no literally because with i feel like obviously the closest thing is love island yeah i feel mm. like that's obviously like a certain age bracket a well, certain... at first sight apparently yes. that's that that's yeah like, that's supposed to be really good this year as well. yeah. i've been watching it like not in and out mm. i'm genuinely really enjoyed it yeah i felt that it's intense this year and it's probably like cheating they've, and they've all switched yeah. it up they've proper i think they've gone for more drama drama but mm. it's good like I'm uh, really sure. Do you know, like, we do full on social media and I feel like I should be up to date with this. Yeah, definitely watch Big Brother. Yeah, maybe definitely. I will. All I've heard is good things as well. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm good. always like, yeah, I will. But Married at First Sight definitely is something I want to watch. I feel, I think that's... Yeah, I've not watched that. No, but the Australian one used to be really good. Yeah, I heard that Mrs. Deep say that. Yeah. That's intense. Never watched that. Don't know what it is about the Aussies. Really go for it when they marry someone. Yeah. When they've never met them before. But yeah, that was really good. We used to go into history at sixth form and our teacher would be like, have you guys watched Married at First Sight Australia last night? We were like, no, we just used to talk about that for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, over, so it's over, it overtook like, um, I think it was Love Island for like- Really? Might be completely wrong, but some would say, it, I saw it on Instagram, it might be if it's fake news again, but it done like the view that it done, the views it done one episode was like the most viewed. Oh my like God. TV. So yeah, they've really knocked it on the head like this year. So. Oh, that's sick. I don't know how, I'm so out of touch with it. I don't know how good Love Island did this season. Was it, because everyone was saying it was a really good season. I done shit, but. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go because I only got yeah, 30 I seconds of yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't know. I just felt bad for you because you just didn't really have like. Yeah, I was, yeah, it was one of them. It was, um, it was uh, all the people in there, really cool people. No one's like actually. But, are you, as a CASA person, allowed to then get with another CASA girl? Cause are no. You with, no, 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 <laughs> no, oh, no, that, no. Is no, that no. just like a social media see, thing? Because I like, no. always see you posting about. Yeah, no, it's, on it's yeah, that 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 was um that was finished. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah, she's a nice girl. She's a nice girl. She's a really really good girl. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah no like in there you can't like it's like an unspoken rule. Like, I think if you go in as CASA, you can't really get another CASA girl. But then um, I was only on there for so long, so I don't really know the whole shebang so i don't really yeah. to be fair i've tried to like love love island but i've tried to move away from yeah. the whole yeah. love island scene because like yeah i'll be honest i think I, like you, I, I milked it to start with and like been there done that are you now I trying enjoy. to find like your own identity yeah yeah, yeah. like oh, i'm yeah. trying to like 
that's in my own kind of thing. Like I've started doing like in-person interviews and coming up with my own different series and kind of pushing my like gym content as well. I know everyone mm-hmm. always comes out, but like I'm striving to like, I want to be like online coaching, better mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So go into niche. my little niche, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, but I, I love talking to people. So like I started doing interviews with people and started like putting that together. Trying to kind of do a whole rebrand of my socials. Yeah, that's so, so good. No, it's that's what I wanted. I've tried to, I knew straight away me and my management, we've had like means where we're trying to really push. Cause I think the top f- as well for a bloke coming off that show, way harder than the girl. Yeah, yes. I can imagine that. To do it, what to do next. Yeah. 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 You've got to really, obviously, they got, there's so many huge girl brands nowadays. Yeah. yeah. And you've got PLT. You've I was going to say, PLT like first, fight each other. Well, who's going to get that yeah. next? Ella got it. Yeah. We, that's only come out recently. And it's like, it's very much one of them things that men have got. You've got Boohoo Man, probably that's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that's it. That's the probably the main be. commercial. But I've only person. heard like Davide come out with something well, like, that's it. Mm. Exactly. So yeah. only a few, well, Locken's doing his cooking thing, which yeah. is really cool, which is unique in itself. Mm-hmm. And then you've got, um, well, that's, that's it really. Well, out, out the lads that are really like, I don't know, really, I don't really know what's, what anyone's doing, but from mm-hmm. publicly seeing, yeah. like you look at the girls, I think four or five of the girls have got like, huge brand deals yeah. yeah you did have it harder this year as well because you weren't allowed to social media exactly so yeah. you've oh, had to yeah. sort of that was as soon as you come out you got to yeah. start from base level I suppose mm. so you have got it tougher than the years before you yeah. but I imagine it is hard for boys to be fair mm. I get that you've got to do all what you make like, well what you get given you know what I mean you got mm. to crack make on make lemonade with lemons yeah start mm. selling squash it squash the lemons and what's the saying <laughs> <laughs> Some keep it lemon get lemons and make lemonade Life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> we got there in the end. Anyway, I think that's a beautiful metaphor <laughs> to end on. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming, guys. I've had a lovely chat with you and it's been nice to see everyone. I've had a thank good you. little group. Thank it's, you for having yeah. me. I thought it was going to be an odd niche, but it worked really no, well. It worked, it worked. <laughs> yes, great for me. I'll get another. But yeah, so thank you for coming. It's been lovely to have you here. And if you guys liked what you saw and if you guys want to send in any confessions, dilemmas, or you want to maybe... Let me know who you want me to have on the show next. If you want these guys to come back, you can always send me an email. The email is lilstakespod at gmail.com. Yeah, let me know if you want to hear anything. And I will see you next week. Thanks, guys.